welcome back to my channel. Today we want to show you all the things we just bought on our little Disney trip. We went to Disney World to do our wedding planning session because we're getting married in Disney World in six months by the time you are watching this video. It's going to be April 2019. So we did our planning session and our menu tasting. So basically while we were there we almost kind of planned our whole wedding. That was a lot of fun. It was comforting to know that we could have gone in there without having anything planned. But, yeah, because um, we kept saying people are like, oh, so have you been so busy wedding planning? And we're like, no, we haven't done anything. And as soon as we sat down in there, the wedding planner who's awesome, she told us like, if you feel like you haven't done anything yet, you're fine, you're in good shape. And we're like, okay, cool. And she's like, we're gonna plan the whole wedding today, pretty much. And we did, we picked all our food too. The chef was awesome. He like really went all out to make sure that we loved the food that we're gonna serve. It was a really special trip. And it's our last trip as like a non-married couple. Next time, I mean next time we leave Disney World, we'll be married. By the time this is going up, I've probably posted all the vlogs from our trip. So if you haven't seen those yet, I'll link them so you can check them out. All right, so let's just get into what we bought. Yeah. Well, let's start with what we're wearing. Yeah, what we're wearing. Uh, I bought this sweater. Softest sweatshirt ever. I bought the t-shirt the uh, day before and I really like the design. It just, I'm a fan of like things that look classic. So the t-shirt you have is like the opposite of this. Isn't it like white with the navy blue writing? Or is yeah. it black? No, it's a white with the navy blue. What it looks like. Um, I really like it, it's really comfortable. I would have bought one for myself, but I think I'm just gonna borrow Gerald's every now and again. Borrow. <laughs> we live together so we can share. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, and then I bought, this is like, I've seen it called the Cotton Candy jer Spirit Jersey on Instagram. It has rainbow glitter on it, which I love. And then it's like a faded tie-dye. And then on the back, ta-da! <laughs> I was debating which spirit jersey I wanted and it was a really tough choice because last time we went there were like no spirit jerseys at all because yeah. everyone was like going crazy over them. And we came back and it's yeah. just like five, six different colors so this was yeah. the cool one definitely. Last time it was like whatever I could get my hands on. This time I was like able to really pick and choose because they have the millennial pink which is so cute and then they have the rose gold. You were picking between this and the pink one right? Yeah so. but I love this. This one's so unique. I feel like I don't see it as much and it reminds me more of like rainbow sherbet than cotton candy which I love but I love like the glitter and it makes me like hungry. It reminds <laughs> me of like candy. Yeah. I bought two pairs of ears. The first one I had my eye on for a long time I was looking for these um, around Christmas time and I could not find them. Like no one had the rose gold ears. They were all sold out for so long. Finally, they are mine and I'm so happy. I know they might not be like cool anymore. Like Yeah, because I mean, they, they really like overstocked it. I mean, yeah, they it overstocked was... it for us, so I appreciate that. But there is a new thing that you can't get your hands on. The candy corn. Candy corn I wanted the candy corn ears for Halloween, but I, I couldn't find them. Yes. Also the pumpkin hat. I see that on Instagram a lot. The one that says like, hey pumpkin on the back. And that one we couldn't find either. But that's okay, I had to settle for buying two pairs of ears instead of three. So I think I can get over it. And then these, it is like a Mickey ice cream bar with the top taken out. And I love these. I think I'll actually leave these on because I'm feeling it. And then we, we did buy some Halloween stuff anyway. Before we even left for our trip, I just wanted to show this because it's so cool. Carol surprised me with this snow globe. It has Jack and then zeros in the snow globe. And he lights up. Shake up. Play the music. Yeah, you gotta hear the music. <laughs> this was from Walgreens. So if you live somewhere that has a Walgreens, you'd be really surprised, or at least I am, um, how much Nightmare Before Christmas stuff they have. thing we got before we left was this Nightmare Before Christmas bag. Our Disney store where we live has started to charge for bags like they don't give out plastic bags anymore which I think is really cool because like the less plastic in the world the better. They were selling those reusable bags with like Mickey on it 
but we saw this one and we're like, you know what, we might as well for the Halloween party too. Um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, we use this as our trick or treat bag, so and we're glad to have it. It has Doctor. Yeah, Dr. Finkelstein. It really has everybody yeah, on it. Yeah, Oogie Boogie and the mayor. Yeah. And, the too. and even that, this little fella. I don't know what he's called. Also, we got mayor. Yeah, we got the mayor before we went, but we saw him in Disney World too. They have this exact same plushie. And he's fantastic and so soft. <laughs> yeah, he's really great. Yeah. <laughs> then to go with that, we got Mickey and Minnie, but they're Jack and Sally. So they are the cutest. Like me and Dan. I know, it's like us. <laughs> Gerald said that if he saw plushies of Lock, Shock, and Barrel, we, um, he would definitely get them. So when we saw them, it was like a no brainer because we love them and we love Nightmare Before Christmas. And I feel like we have a pretty like complete set of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff now, yeah. except we don't technically have an Oogie Boogie plushie because we didn't like the one they had there. Um, but a couple years ago, I made a giant life-size Oogie Boogie. So we have like a huge Oogie Boogie kind of plushie. He's not very soft though. These guys came together. They were all holding hands and like sewn together. So they were a set. I bought these two Rice Krispie treats. This one is like for Halloween, and this one is covered in M&Ms. This one, our good friend uh, Merrick from our uh, food tasting. He was yeah, he um, was the chef. Such a good chef. Surprised us with this, and actually, while we're talking about that, uh, oh yeah, show our little sign. When we walked in, they actually had this. They had this picture. Yeah, they made that for us for our tasting. It says our last names. And then it says what it was for. It was for food tasting. Right? Yeah, it was so awesome. And we had just been tasting. talking about how much we love Up because Gerald just watched Up for the very first time. We'd never watched it together. So we were just talking with our planner how much we loved Up. So when we went into the room and we saw that he made the sign with the couple from Up, we were so excited. And then I picked out these two postcards. The Mulan with the cherry blossom tree, but also she looks so badass. Like it's where she's cutting her hair. And like she just looks so cool. So I bought this. We're making like a little bit of a gallery wall. And then I don't know the artist's name. Leelan? Leelan Joy? Yeah, I can't really but I'll see if I can look it up. And if I can find who the artist is, I'll link it below. Because I know that's like, it's not like from Mulan, like that's an actual like artist um, interpretation. This one, I don't know the artist either, unfortunately, but it has all the Disney snacks and some of our very favorites. Because it's, it's like pastel colors. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Um, my favorite one to eat is the candy apple. Mine too. Oh, but there's also the Mickey waffles on there though too. Yeah, I like the candy apple. Yeah, I love the candy apples, but I love the way that the cotton candy looks on this picture. Like aesthetically, or maybe the churro. Aesthetically, I love the churro Ooh, and the cotton candy. Actually, I like the... Oh yeah, the macaroon. We haven't one. had a Mickey shaped one before. Yeah. I don't even know where we can get those, but we had macaroon in um, the France Pavilion for breakfast one day. We had like pastries and espresso, which is like our ideal breakfast. <laughs> Have we ever had the beignets? We've never had the Mickey beignets either. All you guys who go to Disney, like for our Disney fans and like the food there, let yeah, us know which, which one's, one's your, your favorite. favorite. That's a good question. Um, like if there's something that's not in here. Oh yeah, tell us something cool. Um, we tried the school bread for the first time in the Norway pavilion because I've bread. heard that that's so good and it was really good. I, and it was big. I, it I was. didn't think we were going to finish it. Actually. I didn't think so either. I thought it would be very heavy, but it wasn't. I'm it was surprised delicious. that we finished it. I think we bought a lot of pins. We this did. Year. This one we got from the contemporary store. What is that store called? I don't even remember what it's called, but it's so good. The little gift shop in the contemporary. We saw this at the, one of the stores in Magic Kingdom, and I'm like, oh, I'm sure I'm gonna see it again. And then I never saw it again until we went to the contemporary, but it's Sandy Claus, Oogie Boogie, Sally, and uh, the three kids. And yeah, this is by far like my favorite pin set. We bought another one of those like four pin sets. It is Disney Snacks again. We saw a little girl like pick this up, but it was like the last one. So we were like, put it down, put it down. And then she did, so we got those. I also got this one. It's uh, Alice and uh, Crew. That one's cute. And then also, doesn't it like, it like does a thing. Maybe you yeah. put that down or pull them up. 
I kind of collect Alice um, pins. So we don't trade pins, we just collect ones that we like for fun. But I love this one, it'll fit in perfectly with my collection. The grape soda, the pin that um, Ellie gave Mr. Fredrickson when they were kids. Um, I really love um, it's such a cute movie. And then this one we traded for, but I'm looking at it. Tinkerbell's eyes look a little weird in this. I've never traded a pin ever in my life, but we traded for this one. Look at her eyes though, I'm like, is this a fake? I really hope it's not, but even if it is, I still really like it. But I feel like her eyes look a little out of sorts. <laughs> but we thought this was so perfect because our apartment is mostly this almost exact color. Um, and I do have a couple Tinkerbell pins already, so she fits in with our collection really nice too. I did the mystery pack, so I wanted to get get one that was shaped like this but with the mirror, but uh, fortunately wasn't lucky enough to get one like that, so I got Sandy Claus, Jack. I like that one. And then I also got Sally. Since we're gonna get married next year, um, this one is really cute. It says, my happy place with you. I wish we could like enjoy the fireworks as much as Mickey and Minnie are in that pin because every time the fireworks happen, it gets like way too like hectic and crazy and I get upset. <laughs> I wish we could just sit and watch them like that. On our last day, we went to Disney Springs. We stopped in Uniqlo and they have awesome Disney shirts. Especially if you're on the budget too. Oh yeah, this was like, this only cost $14.90 compared to like $50 for everything like official Disney. And look at that, it's um, Peter Pan, Wendy and Michael and they're all like pastel colors. Kinda hard to see because they're all washed out and Tinkerbell's on the back. Navy blue, it's kind of like a boxy fit. I think it's a little like crop top too, so it'll be really cute with some high-waisted jeans. And then of course I got this one. It's um, it's the, my buddies, <laughs> the claw buddy. Aliens triple vision. Triple vision. They each it. have three eyeballs. Three eyeballs, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't resist. Our last like park day, we were in Hollywood Studios and we got matching mugs. Yeah, it's like a double walled, super nice mug. Gerald was gonna buy that and like, I, I like just really wanted the matching one. Like I probably wouldn't have bought this unless he wanted that one. Um, and he's like, I'm gonna bring it to work. We won't even like use them together. And I'm like, I don't care, I want to match. But look at how cute Minnie is. She has all different color outfits and they're all like cute pastel colors. I love her. And mine, Mickey's wearing red, green, and blue. It just looks so like classic. I know, so. and it's so good quality too. I love these mugs. And that is everything that we bought on our trip. Hope you enjoyed seeing all the little goodies that we brought home. And again, if you feel like watching our vlog, so you can kind of like go along on our trip with us. I love everything we bought, and I right now I cannot wait to go put all the pins on our pin board. I feel like we doubled our pin collection on this trip. We didn't have that many, but I feel like our board's gonna be like full now, so I'm really excited. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're having a beautiful day, and I will see you next time.